Yeah, in, in simple terms, generative AI is a subset, a type of artificial intelligence where uh, you can give a prompt to a, to a system and based on the training it's already gone through, generate something brand new um, that in theory hasn't been created before. So it's always creating something new when you interact with it. So what I think about in terms of what this can do for us uh, at the university, uh, and really that means accelerating teaching and learning. So faculty can create new content that's higher quality faster than ever now um, and then students uh, can take their content or complex topics that they're studying in class maybe bounce some of those concepts off an ai system just to generate some ideas or help them make new connections on anything they're not understanding what we should be concerned about as this emerges and really evolves so rapidly it reminds me of uh, growing up in the 90s and, and experiencing the internet and how fast it uh, evolved we're seeing the same thing with ai again um, so for anybody, the number one concern is how do you use it? How do you use it effectively? You follow a three-step process. You tell it who the author is, you tell it who the audience is, and you tell it what your task is. If you do those three things, uh, you're gonna get a lot better output out of it. Uh, we have a website, uh, uh, www.umflint.edu slash genai. Has a, a plethora of resources uh, that students can go and engage with to understand how to use it ethically, uh, or just again how to get the best out of it or just rethink maybe how they're interacting with it every single day But more than that the university itself has been forward thinking about all of this uh, We had um, what we called the generative AI advisory committee. It was a three campus committee. Uh, I was I represented the Flint campus on that uh, and we uh, created a, a report that uh, number one was set to educate leadership uh, at all three campuses on the university uh, it also was set to educate the campus itself and how this technology works and things we need to be thinking about. But I think really importantly was it also educated the community. Anybody um, could access the report and, and get to know uh, more about like how this works, what are we thinking about the university, what does society need to be thinking about. So we have an undergraduate degree in AI and students can pick a track where uh, they study AI and cybersecurity, machine learning, um, and many other tracks uh, that they might have an interest in. Uh, and let's say you already have an undergraduate degree, but you have an interest at the, at the grad level. The CIT offers uh, a degree there as well. Uh, and that'd be great for uh, if you're thinking about being a data analyst or getting some higher level engineering fields like machine learning. Uh, and it's a great time if you have an interest in those areas, uh, come to university because the median salary right now for anybody in those positions is around $180,000 a year.